it's twofold here. And I think I'm glad you brought up the action because action is an important part. And to me, it starts with like creating that environment where people, again, don't feel safe, but have the security to take risks and fail. So if we look at, again, parenting and children, you don't want to be the helicopter or the lawnmower parent who's trying to bulldoze their way through things. You want to create the space where, you know what, the kid can lose at the game and it's not the end of the world. Or the kid can fail and you're not going to run up to the teacher and be like, you need to change my kid's grade. Like That is part of the expectation and the environment that needs to, to be there. The second part is, I think you know, we need to have the appropriate expectations around things to get to the action. Too often, especially in our modern world, is we create this expectation that it's either perfect action or I shouldn't do it. So I either should win or I shouldn't try. And all you're doing there is you're setting yourself up to almost have another, you know, tick in the box to don't do anything. Because taking a risk, which is what action is, is putting you in a place where you might not succeed, where you might fail, where you might get exposed. And I think in our modern world, especially with social media, we're so enamored or living in a world where we're judged all the time. So our natural inclination is to like protect us from being exposed to anything. So again, environment expectations and then getting to action, I think is how do you navigate those feelings and that inner dialogue, but more so it's making sure that the action behind it has some sort of meaning and purpose that is relevant and resonates with you. So the athlete who's able to like, you know, come through the pain and discomfort of a race or a performance and come out on the other side and do the right thing, often they're able to do that because it's important to them. Because it's not just about them, but it's about their team. It's about something greater than themselves. So getting to action and being tough is often like, how do you create that space where this thing like means a lot to me? Where this thing has some momentum behind it? So I'll give you again the example we talked about earlier with whistleblowing, which wasn't you know an athletic feat, but it was like, how did I get to action? It took a while, but at first I had to come to terms with, okay, why should I speak out? What's the good coming out of this? And it ultimately came down to, like, for me, it was like, I need to put this out in the world to unburden myself and also so that others don't have to go through the same experience that I did. So it wasn't just me of being like, oh, I'm going to be a whistleblower. It was something much greater, which like propelled me through the difficult stuff. So for you on, or for anybody on going through a challenging time is like create that meaning and purpose behind the thing that kind of, kind of propels you and gives that notch or that momentum behind the action where it's almost like, okay, I have to do this or I want to do this because if I don't, like it's not going to be good. 